Tara coming to you from thecraftsurgeon.com and thanks for joining me for another video tutorial. I'm really excited to share with you some really cute and fun um, Giordelli chocolate holders. Um, so with that, I'm going to explain to you exactly what you're going to need to create this really cute holder along with how to create it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get stamping. All right, so the first thing that we're going to use is the Cauldron Bubble Stamp Set. Now this stamp set that I'm using today is actually in clear mount. This stamp set has a lot of really cute images that can be used with your stamping blends. So it comes in both um, clear mount and wood mount and you get a total of 11 stamps inside of this set. I'm also using the coordinating framelits. I'm using specifically the cauldron out of this set. If you purchase them together, both the stamp set and the dies, you can save 10% on your purchase if you buy them now. Also, you can find other coordinating um, products for the stamp set and the dies on page 48 and 49 of our catalog. It actually coordinates with the Toil and Trouble suite of products. There's some designer series paper here. There's the cardstock pack that has basic black, gorgeous grape, grainy apple green, and pumpkin pie. We have some black foil sheets, some stamping blends in both basic black and mango melody. There's some glittered organdy ribbon, which is my favorite ribbon in this whole catalog. We have spider trinkets and we have baker boxes. In addition to the stamp set and the dies, you are going to need a piece of gorgeous grape cardstock along with a piece of whisper white to do our stamping and our coloring on. I'm also using our swirls and curls embossing folder. We'll also be using a bit of the 1 8 inch um, black cord. I don't know if you guys can tell, but this is, um, it feels kind of like scaly, but it's really shiny and pretty. So we'll be using that to create our bow. So for inks, we're going to use our Memento Tuxedo Black since we're using our stamping blends. And we're going to use some Granny Apple Green ink to uh, stamp our sentiment in. For my blends, I'm going to be using the combo packs of the Smoky Slates, Mango Melody, and Old Olive. And to give it a nice shimmery touch, I don't know if you guys can see the shimmer on, um, on this project, but I'm going to be using a little bit of Winka Stella. Alright, so now that you guys know exactly what we're going to need to create our project, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we're going to do with this project is we're going to create our cover for our chocolates. So this uh, piece of gorgeous grape is going to measure five and a half inches by two inches. We're going to score it at two and five eighths of an inch and two and seven eighths of an inch. All right, so let's go ahead and start. We're going to cut our piece of cardstock at five and a half inches. And then we're going to cut it at two inches and then we are going to um, score at two and five eighths of an inch by two and seven eighths of an inch so let's set that to the side and now we're going to run our um, piece of cardstock through our big shot with the embossing folder and you want to make sure that you have the seam um, the bound edge towards the um, the roller. All right, so we're gonna fold on our score lines just like so. But you're gonna take your chocolate square and you're going to fold in one of the flaps. And I'm gonna place that right down in so it'll seat perfectly in the bottom of this holder. Then I'm going to take a stapler and I'm going to staple it closed so that way it doesn't slide out and we're going to set this to the side. Alright, so now we are going to do our stamping and our coloring. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Memento Tuxedo Black and I'm going to stamp my cauldron onto my piece of Whisper White and I'm just using a scrap piece and then I'm going to stamp my sentiment, Bubble Bubble Toil and Trouble in Grainy Apple Green. Just like that. Oh, this upside down, but it's okay because we're going to cut it out anyway. And now we're going to do a little bit of our coloring before we cut anything out. So the first thing I did for 
the bubbles that are coming out of the cauldron is I took my light make low melody and I'm just gonna color all of the bubbles in their tops so it's gonna look something like this it's kind of like I'm creating a reflection on the top of those bubbles then I'm gonna take my old olive and I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna color in the rest of the white space that I left open and I am kind of coloring over the mango melody as well and then I'm gonna take my dark old olive and I'm just gonna put a little bit of that in the centers here and then I'm gonna go back in and I'm gonna start my blending so I'm gonna in circular motion I'm going to take my light and I'm just gonna blend in that dark old olive so that way the line doesn't look as noticeable that I created okay. and then I'm going to go back in with my mango melody and I'm gonna blend the light old olive into those bubbles all right so for the flames at the bottom I'm gonna go ahead and take my light mango melody and I'm gonna color those in And then I'm going to take my dark mango melody and I am going to color in the middles of those flames. All right, for the cauldron itself, I'm going to start off with my light smoky slate. Or excuse me, my dark smoky slate. And I'm just coloring in all the shadow areas. And then I'm going to take my light smoky slate and I'm going to go in and I'm going to take the brush tip and I'm going to fill in that open space. All right, and then I'm going to come back in. I'm going to color. Sorry for the squeaking. And try to blend this in as best as I can into the center of the cauldron. Pulling that color like closer to the center. All right, last but not least, I'm gonna go ahead and take my Wink of Stella and I'm just going to add a little bit of shine, a little bit of shimmer. All right, so now we're going to take our cauldron and we're gonna cut it out with our Big Shot. Just like that. And then I'm going to take my paper snips and I'm going to cut out the sentiment. Alright, so now I'm going to take my Tombow glue and I'm going to attach this onto the treat holder. And the reason why I'm using Tombow is because usually when you have a embossed area, it's really hard for the snail adhesive to stick like right inside of those little nooks and crannies. So the glue is the best, I feel, the best um, thing to use. So that way you can kind of get into those grooves and it'll stay put. Then I'm going to take a dimensional, put it on the back side of our sentiment and then I'm going to throw that right on there just like that. And then I'm going to take my cord and I'm going to take a tie a bow. And then I'm going to take a glue dot and I'm going to attach that right in the center. And there you go. 
So these little projects make up really, really quickly and they are a great little gift to give to a coworker or to a friend. Um, if you have kids at school and you wanted them to have something special to give to their friends, this is a great project to use. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial on these really cute and adorable treat holders. If you saw anything today that you would like to place a purchase for, I have uh, provided a link down below in the description box to my online store where you can place your orders. If your order is $50 or more, you will receive a free gift along with a thank you card from me as a token of my appreciation for you supporting my my business all you have to do is use this host code if your order is less than $150 if your order is over $150 don't use the host code because then you you will be entitled to stamping rewards and then you can use those for your purchase okay other than that don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel to get notified on all of my latest uploads that I try to um, upload every single week but other than that, that's all I got for you guys. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching and happy stamping.